Since moving to Juventus in 2018, Cristiano Ronaldo has been slated as the Champions League savior for the old lady. However, in the three years since he's moved, Ronaldo and company have had three separate managers with Mass Allegri, Maurizio Sarri, and Andrea Pirlo. They have been knocked out of the quarterfinals of the Champions League and the last 16 of the Champions League since he's moved, having been knocked out by FC Porto just yesterday. It looks like they're 10 points off of league leaders Inter Milan this season, and Andrea Pirlo is struggling to hold together the pieces. Could Ronaldo be on the way out this summer? Let's go ahead and take a look on this episode of The High Press with Connor Robinson. Hey everyone, this is Connor with Down the Block Sports bringing you an exclusive episode of The High Press. It looks like Juventus have been knocked out of the Champions League by FC Porto. Who could have seen that coming? With a, especially with a player like Ronaldo, Chiesa, you know, Rabio, they have a lot of players at Juventus, and you know, Porto is uh, not doing too well domestically. So, who could have seen this one coming? Let's go ahead and take a look. But before we do, make sure that you like this video and you subscribe to Down the Block Sports. Um, you can catch all episodes of the High Press exclusively on our YouTube. You can also check out Alec Waltz videos. He goes into a lot of content with baseball, basketball, football, basically any other sport, you name it, he can cover it, and he does a great job. So let's go ahead and, and get things kicked off here with Juventus. L looking at their last six Champions League campaigns, it looks like this year and last year knocked out in the last 16. Porto knocked out Juve on away goals 4-4, four to four, and Leon knocked out Juve last season with the weird sort of uh, midsummer playoff type of deal for the Champions League. So um, two very poor campaigns since they brought in Ronaldo. Uh, even the first year that Ronaldo was there, a quarterfinal against Ajax was their exit, and it took a hat trick by Ronaldo to drag them past Atletico Madrid that season anyway. Um, looking back before he arrived, quarterfinal against Real Madrid exit, the final against Real Madrid where they lost 4-1, and then making it to that last 16 against Bayern Munich in the 15-16 season. So they've regressed massively since adding Ronaldo, but the caveat is always but. They have lost the likes of, you know, Bazzali and Mesalegri, and they've lost, you know, Mandzukic. Higuain's no longer in his prime. Dybala hasn't really been playing well. Um, they've Blaise Matuidi. They've lost a ton of players. Arturo Vidal, Paul Pogba, you know, Pirlo himself played um, in a final in the 2014-15 season. So they don't even – we could go back a season, too, and look at, you know, seven years back, Juve made it to a final where they lost to Barcelona 3-1. Do I think that all the blame is on Ronaldo? No. Do I think all the blame is on one singular party? Not at all. Uh, I think it goes way deeper than that, but we're just going to kind of focus on – the tie from the from this season's campaign. We kind of dug a little bit deeper, but we're we're gonna go into this. Juve versus Porto, first leg, Porto one, two, one at the Estadio de Dragao. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but basically in in uh, Portugal, they beat Juve. Juve had 12 shots, five on target, 66% of the ball, um, four yellow cards. Now that four yellow cards is important because in this tie, there you've actually had eight yellow cards over the two games. So uh, lack of discipline for sure is definitely a big issue. And in that second leg, Juve did win the night 3-2, but they lost on away goals. And, you know, 31 shots, 13 on target, 69% of the ball. They absolutely controlled the game. Porto kind of sat deep. They sat compact. Um they were very tough to break down. Quadrado just kept whipping balls into the box. Murata had a chance that he should have converted. Chiesa really was the star man of the night. Ronaldo looked at, you know, he, he just didn't look good when he when he was in those attacking spaces. But the service hasn't been great. Their defense to give up two goals to Porto, um, who went down a man as well, 50 minutes in, 50-something minutes in, with a red card on uh, – Oh, what's his name? Mehdi Taremi hit a red card. 
and that was their the only attacking outlet. They brought up Musa Moringa, uh, but the fact that Juve couldn't grab this game by the scruff of the neck and really, you know, get over the line, especially with Ronaldo and and Chiesa playing at that level, is is pretty, you know, telling of of their season so far. Uh, definitely think that it's been tough for them. You know, you, you don't really know how a rookie manager with Andrea Pirlo is going to turn out. He hasn't been great. They're 10 points off Inter Milan. And, you know, can they turn things around? Not in the league, I don't think. They're out of the Champions League. So they have the Copa Italia final against Atalanta, who are not too far off the table from them. So it's it's going to be a tough stretch for for Juve, but they will have to put all their eggs in the league basket and hope that they can get second or maybe you know close the gap. I I just don't think anyone's going to catch Inter Milan right now. That being said, um, you know, shout out to Porto, you know, to to go to the Allianz in Turin to score two goals on, you know, a really nice set piece from Sergio Olivi Oliveira. Um, the wall didn't do his job, obviously. We, we know that. If you watch that goal back, the wall didn't do its job. But with that being said, uh, Sergio Oliveira, great job. Pepe, 38 years old. Pepe still plays. For anyone who knows Pepe from his Real Madrid days, absolute legend. Uh, one of my favorite players, you know, when I started getting in the game in the 2011, 2010, you know, 2012 era time, like those couple of years, I remember playing FIFA. I remember Pepe being a monster with Sergio Ramos. I remember watching Pepe. The guy would always be a lock with it, you know, with a yellow card. But 18 clearances, three tackles, three interceptions against Juve. At 38 years old, he completely capped in the side. Jesus Corona had a great game. Sergio Oliveira had a great game. I believe Paulo Otavio had a great game. I think it's Paulo Otavio, or maybe it's just Otavio or Octavio or something. Brazilians or Portuguese, they always have the names, and there's so many of them, and they all play at such a high level. It's hard to keep track of them all. But um, a really good job by Porto, really great game, you know, game plan to go in there, to be compact, to frustrate Juve, to force them wide to force them to try to cut in and, and really stop the attack. It was great. Chiesa, again, was Juve's man of the match. He's been uh, absolutely on fire. I think Chiesa is a player I rate very highly. But, again, where was Ronaldo? That's the big question. Um, he, he didn't start. It, it's a poor sort of, um, you know, result for them. But, again... It, 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 it's it, 36, you know, it, it's bound to happen. You know, you're bound to have an off game, even though Ronaldo, since moving to Juve, has been the fastest player to score 50 goals for them in the league. He hasn't reached the quarterfinal in the first time in his career for 15 years. But, again, 92 goals in 121 games for Juve. It's not necessarily Ronaldo's fault. He just had a bad game yesterday. Um, the supporting cast with Rabio and Ramsey and, and Artur and it's just it's it's not quite what he needs. It's not that Real Madrid level, you know. They're just under it, but Juve's look look very difficult. It's been a very difficult project since bringing Ronaldo in, having all those pieces move, and just having to retool the side and try to play through Ronaldo. It, it hasn't really worked. So, um, you know, fair play to, to Porto to, you know, Porto to get the win and to advance. But Juve really um, aren't looking too hot right now, especially, you know, sitting on 50 points after 25 games played. Yes, Milan is four points ahead of them. Inter's 10 points ahead of them. You know, Roma's only two points off. So it's very – and even behind Roma, you know, Atalanta's on 49. So it's very congested in the Serie A table and – we really don't know what's what's going to happen with the with Juve if they finish top three. If maybe Roma or Atalanta can sneak in there, it's going to be tough, especially since Pirlo has had these struggles as the manager. But I think Ronaldo's going to move on for this summer. At thirty six, you would start to see him maybe wanting his way out. He's got a very powerful agent, so we'll we'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, but I, I do think Ronaldo's probably going to be on the way out for sure. I don't see how 
Juve can hold on to him. He has a he wants to win another Champions League. They want to win another Champions League. I think it just won't work with the two of them together. I think they have to split. And, you know, who knows? Ronaldo could go back to Man United. That could be what Man United needs. So um, we'll have to just wait and see. But thank you for tuning in. Of course, make sure that you like the video. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Um, is Ronaldo going to go? Is he going to stay? Is Juve going to be able to turn the ship around, you know, going into the next season? Or, you know, even comment, do you think Andrea Pirlo will be the manager at the end of the season? Because I don't, I don't think he will. I think they'll move on after the summer. But again, thanks for tuning in. Again, sub to the channel, like uh, the video, comment, share this video, let all your friends know. And of course, thanks for tuning in to Down the Block Sports. Have a wonderful day. This has been another installment of the High Press with Connor Robinson.